Welcome to Tech Jotters. Today, I will show you how to transform your Windows terminal into a modern and stylish workspace. We'll set up a transcoolant background, install Nard fonts for amazing icons, get PowerShell 7 from the Windows Store, configure Starship for a slick prompt, and install Git for Windows to boost your workflow. Whether you are new or experienced, this step-by-step -step guide will help you create a terminal that's both powerful and beautiful. So let's get started. So let's start with Windows Terminal. So let's search here Windows, uh, sorry, just Terminal. And here is the Terminal. You can open the Terminal and if you click on the arrow button and go to the settings from the default Terminal application, you can select Windows Terminal so that Windows Terminal application will be the default one and you can see the default profile is Windows PowerShell. So I want to change this with uh, PowerShell 7. So let's save it for now and let's close it and open Windows Store for PowerShell 7. So this is the Windows Store. So let's search PowerShell and search it. So here you can see the PowerShell application. At the same time, you can see the PowerShell preview. So you can install either of them. So I will go with the PowerShell preview version because this is new. You will get all the new features with it. And if you want, you can also use PowerShell, the stable version. Both are almost same. So don't worry about it. All the settings I will do with PowerShell preview will apply to PowerShell 7, no problem. So let's install it. Now you can see the PowerShell 7, uh, PowerShell preview is actually installed. So it is the PowerShell 7 preview. So let's close it now and again, open terminal. And if you open the terminal, you will see it's uh, started again with Windows PowerShell. And if you click on the arrow button, you can see there is PowerShell. So this is the 7 uh, PowerShell preview version. So let's open it. So you can see it's PowerShell 7.5 a release candidate one and you can definitely update it when you get the updates so i want to make it my default emulator so let's click again here and go to the settings and now if i click uh, on the default profile you can see there is common prompt azure cloud shell and powershell so i will use this powershell and save it so let's close it again and again run terminal and it should open with the PowerShell and you can see it's open with the PowerShell we just installed. So the second thing I do is right click here and pin it to taskbar. So I don't need to search it again and again. That's one thing. And the second thing I do is search terminal here and right click on the terminal and pin it to start so that if you click on the start button, you can see the terminal here. That's another good way to make the shortcuts. Now it looks good, but I always like the uh, transcoolant background. So let's configure that one now. So if you click here and go to settings and now you can, you can see all the profiles here. And if you use WSL, you will see Ubuntu or other Linux shells here. So you can configure them separately if you want something on windows powershell and different things on just powershell you can do that by clicking the individual uh, profiles but i want to make everything same so i will go with the defaults if you change on the defaults it will apply all of your profiles so i like the defaults one and if i go there and you can see there is a appearance option so click here and now if you go down you will see the option for transparency. So here I want to transparent it. So let's make it 70%. And now let's save it. And if I go to the PowerShell, you can see it's transparent now, but it's really hard to see if you open some, uh, let's open a browser and go to any uh, browser app and now if you open terminal, you see it's really hard to work with this. So I really like to make it transcoolant, not transparent. So 
go to the settings and again if you find the transparency option you can see the arc leak material just enable it and save it now it looks way better for work it has the transparency but it has the arc leak effect and you can write whatever you want and it'll work perfectly so that's one trick so our transparency option is done so next thing i want to change the fonts of it so i want to replace it with a uh, nerd font so let's go and search on the google for nerd font and if you go to download i really like the fira code so also people like the cascavidia cove nerd font but i like the fira code you can use any one you want so i will go with the fira code nerd font and download it and it is downloaded so let's open the download folder and here is the download folder so let's right click here and extract it so our nerd font is extracted so let's uh, organize it with the type and now all the select all the fonts so the first two is the file and md file i don't need to select them i just select all the true type font file and now right click here and install and it will install all the fira codes fonts to your windows so let's close it now let's open the terminal let's sorry we need to close it and open the terminal again and now if i go there and go to settings and go defaults and here if i go appearance again on the font face if you click here you can see there should be the fira code here you can see the fira code font and fira code nerd font mono i will go with the mono for this terminal it's better to use mono fonts so let's save it and it should change the font size font type and again if i, if I go to the defaults settings and appearance and i want to make it a little bit larger so make it 14 and save and you can see the font is now bigger than before so our font is ready and also the transparency is okay now let's uh, go to change the color profile so let's close it i like the catpuchin color profile so if i go google again and search catpuchin windows terminal if I go there, you can see the Catpuchin in the GitHub, you have the Catpuchin Windows Terminal theme. So let's go there and I like the Mocha theme. So there is one mocha.json file and mocha theme.json file. So let's go here and you will see the usage. So let's open the mocha json file in a new tab and mocha theme json file on a, another tab so now if you go there you can see how you can change it so we need to put the schemes that is only the mocha.json file we need to put the information here and we need to put the themes information here so let's open windows terminal again and if i again go there and go to settings here you can see the open json file just open it i will open it with uh, notepad and you can see it's opened so let's make it a little bit smaller so you can see the settings.json file now here you have you can see the schemes and themes and those are open uh, there is nothing here so we need to put the theme files information and json files so this is the mocha.json file so let's copy everything from here and let's go to the text file and you can see this is the mocha.json we need to put it to the scheme files inside the scheme one so let's paste it here and now if i go to the json file mocha json file mocha uh, theme json so let's copy this one and open the text file and inside the themes let's paste it and save it let's close it and let's close it again and let's open the terminal again and see this is black and white theme right now so if i go here and settings and now if i go click on the defaults and go appearance if i click here i should see the mocha you can see the cat in mocha uh, color scheme here so let's click here 
and save it so it'll give you a little bit bluish beautiful color themes if you want any other things you can definitely change it i like the cat puchin so i put cat puchins here and everything is looks good beautiful so my windows terminal it looks way better than before right the next thing what we want to do is to install the starship so let's search starship on the google so here let's start starship rs and if you go there open the starship rs and you will see the starship one so we will use it uh, we'll use starship to change the looks of the uh, terminal window so here you can see it looks good but we want a better option so that's why i'm going to use uh, starship you can also use oh my posh but i found the starship is much more robust it's of, of, of course my personal uh, opinion so let's install starship here so if you click on get started and if you go to installation and you can see in the windows you have the option to use any of this so let's uh, install it with chocolatey so let's copy this and go to the powershell and paste it and chocolate is not recognized so what we need to do is we need to install choco first uh, configure choco first so let's search for chocolate how we can uh, configure chocolatey so let's search here here if i go to the chocolatey software docs setup installation and if you go there install with powershell exe so here you will see the option to install it so i will just copy this and i will just close this for now and open search for terminal and right click and run as administrator so it will run the terminal as an administrator so let's paste it and you can see it is installing chocolatey so it should install now so let's go to the starship and copy this command and paste it here it should install now yes and you can see it is now installing so do you want to run the script yes and if you say a that means all so i accept everything so our package is installed that's first thing and the second thing we need to configure this so to do that if you go there and if you find uh, on the second setup your shell to use starship go there and search for powershell and you can see you can uh, you need to put it on the profile so let's do copy this profile file here and now let's uh, type notepad sorry textpad i'm sorry for this let's open it sorry it's notepad so let's type notepad and it is a new file this file is not available so it'll open one so let's find it's fine we need to open one and then go to the starship and copy this prompt and paste it here and save it close it and close it so it should work perfectly so let's close this one and let's open it let's see whether it's working so you can see it looks different now because the starship is working perfectly here so it's showing the partial information there and now you can see this is uh the prompt is changed so let's go to the presets and let's copy a preset and use it so i like this pester power line so you can see the error it cannot find the location so let's create this so mkdir and paste the file and it should now there so let's go to this cd and go there inside this directory and you you can see we are inside the directory so let's check this here and you can see the config file is here so inside this we need to create a starship.toml file so let's copy this file name and now let's make it with notepad so notepad and paste this and this file is not available so we want to create one that's fine let's save it close it so if you press ls you can see the starship.toml file is there 
so notepad star shape dot one and let's save it here and close it so let's open the terminal and close it and open it it should you can see it is actually now showing the theme we selected so it looks way gorgeous right that's fine the next thing we want to install git so let's close it and let's search git for windows so let's open git for windows and download the windows setup and let's open it so it'll start the installation here you can see it is uh, the installation prompt so click next we want to install it on the default location now here is the thing we need to uh, use you can see here there's a new option add a git bash profile to your windows terminal we want that otherwise if you don't click here uh, you need to open it separately every time but i want to open it with terminal i want to integrate it with my windows terminal so i click here and next and install git everything is default so i just press next and it should work perfectly everything looks good so let's close it now if you open windows terminal and by default it looks really great right so if you click on the arrow now you can see the git bash here so if you open git bash you can see the theme is not working here because we installed starship on our windows system so windows terminal or only the powershell will work with this if you want the starship for others you need to configure it separately so you can see the window uh, git option is already here so that's perfect so it makes our uh, terminal looks way better and it looks way better now so let's change the directory let's see what will happen you can see here it is showing the directory and ls so let's go inside ai and you can see it is showing this one here so it will show everything one by one and it, it will also show you the python version and everything so it looks really good the next thing i want to show you some um, shortcuts for windows terminal so first thing uh, i want to show you how you can split the window so it's very important so because if you run something on this uh, terminal and you need another terminal to and you want to see both this is really important so the command is alternate shift and the equal sign so if you click alternate shift and after pressing shift it will work as a plus sign so it will open a uh, terminal on the right so here you can see you are inside the directory e but here you are in the default directory so that's great right and if you want to close it you need to press Control shift w by the way one thing please remember if you press alternate shift and plus sign from the numpad it will not work so you need to use the equal sign the equal or plus sign so if you press sh control shift and plus sign it will do this uh, splitting on the right side and if you press control shift and w it will close it the second thing you can do is alternate shift and the minus sign so it will do on the bottom the other thing i want to show so if you use uh, alternate shift plus sign, it'll open another window or another uh, split with screen on the right side. And if you use control shift W, it'll close it. But uh, if you want to see, if you click here, you see it's open in same thing like the PowerShell. But what will happen if I want to use another uh, profile? I want to use side by side. So let's close it with control shift W. And now if I press alter, first click on the drop down menu and click alter and now press git bash and you can see here the powershell and on the right side you can see the git bash so these are the very very and you can definitely close it with control shift w to close it so these are really helpful and after making all the changes and everything you can see the windows terminal looks beautiful and more efficient to work and it looks really gorgeous right so thank you for watching this video if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel it will be really great help for me and thank you and have a good day